Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel, uh, Natalia. With you, Lovecraft Forever, we have big package from GBFKE. I have in here stuff for cross stitch and in here for diamond painting, uh, tools, accessories, lots of pretty thing. And I think we will start with diamond painting. And first thing what I want to show you, it's something that you already saw on my channel. Um, this is the jewelry box or um, how do they say, keep, uh, keeper box to keep your whatever jewelry, uh, some pretty things. It's just a very, very uh, beautiful box. And accidentally, I ordered the same kind as I already have, but there's a many others uh, kind up there. And just in case you did not watch my video unboxing where I showcased this box, I will show you one more time in here because these boxes are amazing. And I'm waiting uh, two more of this kind of boxes, but with different design. I absolutely love it. I absolutely recommend because this is something that not just um, regular. Okay, so here is our tools we have this. Um, it's really nicely done. First of all, it's kind of like a chipboard or some kind of like a wood. I don't know, plywood. No idea what it is, but. This is not plastic, this is not paper, this is like a wooden pieces and they done really nice. All these pieces um, on every side have diamond painting design of almost like a full drill I would say. Um, here is the look. It's, you can consider this as a full drill because basically lots and lots of gems you have to place in here and gems in here really gorgeous now this is the bottom part of your base this is the top part and you can see how it's made so this is a lid that go right on the top um, it's just a stain on the top of um, Well, kind of like, you know, would be like this, right, when you put together. So it looks gorgeous. I love the color of this design. It's really, uh, I love the combination. You see like a uh, yellow, orange, and blues. A really beautiful looking box. So if you did not see them yet, go check it out. You can find, uh, of course, I will place links to everything in this video that I review. Uh, so this is the two pieces go into the, this side and then two short one go on the other side. So you have a pretty sparkle uh, box from every corner you look for. So and also if you go to diamond painting uh, maybe accessories or tools that's where you will find a whole bunch of um, new product and the gems in here is really really gorgeous so let's just see them one more time because this couple days i have uh, much more new subscribers so if you did not see my previous video this is the great way to check it out and definitely beautiful uh, something that you can order right now for christmas time it seems like a Christmas far away, but you know what? It will come so quick, and then you will run, look for the presents, and because the shipping takes time, uh, I would say go ahead right now and start to prepare yourself for the Christmas time to order some beautiful project. And this one is really, really like a hundred percent I love it that's why I ordered two more different that we will see um, maybe in a couple of weeks because I just placed my order uh, last night I think well you will watch this video a little bit later but 
say I placed the order this week. Um, okay, so this is the box, very, very awesome box. So this will be, or, uh, you know, one for me, one for Catherine, or I can give it as a gift because it's pretty. Now, the next one, something new uh, that I don't have in my collection yet. Look at this beautiful pan with the wax. I used to have this kind of like a flower shape. Um, I used to buy from dollar store uh, beads, like a seed beads or bugle beads. I uh, used to sell them. I still have those empty containers. And in here we have actually wax in this. Come on. Let's get it somehow. Okay, no, this box looks much better actually. And look at this shape of the flower wax. And we have in here one, two, three pieces. Isn't that cute? I love that they put creativity to actually create the shape of the wax, not just a boring square. This is the pretty one. And this is just like a snap box. Cute. Very cute. And the pen. Can I present to you, Rose? Oh, look how pretty. Look the prettiness. And this is the same kind of um, gold that I have those with the gems up front. Remember, some gems, some pearls, and this rose gold met metal, whatever that is, it not tarnish at all because I already use my drill pen uh, like for a while now and they still stay nice and shiny and clean like this. So I wanted to see the quality of this one. So far, I really like it. Now let's try figure out, should be open here. I just, I don't know, I have to pull it or I have to unscrew, okay. I know it looks like I need to just pull it. Okay, here you go. That's a nice and chubby tip actually can stay on the table nicely and that is a uh, one placer would be comfortable oh yeah it would be very comfortable to work with you're holding basically like a pen nice and smooth surface that doesn't going to hurt any of your fingers nothing sticking out and it's super super light uh, this a little bit heavier than pen itself so when you open it will give you very nice and comfort for your hands to work with and then of course this is snap back very nice snap strong and it's just a beautiful finish so it's going to be to my collection to stand on my table nice and pretty love the shape of it I wonder if they will create in the future some different colors but rose gold i always like rose gold okay so this is another some, something nice i wanted to see the quality and i'm actually very happy about quality with this pen so i would say yes uh, go ahead you can uh, order because for me for a diamond painter who works so much so many hours per day by diamond painting a really important comfort for my fingers this one is really comfortable uh, Another one, something that I wanted to check it out, it's the mirror. So this is diamond painting accessories. No, what was it? Diamond painting um, uh, DIY projects or something. I can't remember in which uh, section of diamond painting this one. But what I like about that I did not know before I ordered that this is a double-sided very pretty design very pretty design and then we have okay now this is the mirror let me make sure i don't slash my face into a very very nice quality mirror very nice um it has one side magnifier and one side is a regular mirror love it and of course for the mirror part not the mirror part because this is mirror will be always in your purse or in your pocket so after placing diamonds i would seal with that product that i did tutorial that i really really like 
uh, all three project will work very well with that um, the, the can of that product that I ordered, I can't remember name about it, but I will link it up for you so you can check it out. Now the diamonds in here, not too many because it's really a little project, but we have all of them are very special. So here is the first color. Look, look at the um, quality of these gems. It's really, really nice. Very good clarity, I will say. Next one, leaf shape, and kind of like champagne color maybe. This one, teardrops in white and teardrops in blue. And pearls. Pearls always make the project pop up. Like, the pearls make so huge difference. It will really make your project festive and look gorgeous and you know what I'm surprised that the way is so bright looking in here but yellow color in here it really washed out so we'll see how this looks like when it's finished but I wish this gems was a little bit more yellow maybe when I will create I might check it out my stash maybe I will change in this yellow to make this bright yellow we'll see but this is super awesome good quality mirror like if i can show you close enough and you see the how it's made very nice the, the closure like a heavy duty really feels good it's a heavy mirror like not cheap very good mirror um so yes this is another something thing that i can recommend for you the, the mirror on the inside is awesome uh, okay next one uh, okay i will put inside so we don't forget which one project that is that's how it's belong in here and next one I wanted to see here's the organizer and if you watch my organizing video of gems from diamond painting all the special gems I have lots of this I think this size I have four or six four no I think more now and I really like them. Uh, here is the protective, actually, piece of paper in here too. And they are small, but if you don't have too many, uh, I like to keep in them are also like a sequence or even the pieces that I have, like a f fruits, like from clay made. Uh, polymer clay those little bits and pieces but also I organize my leftovers uh, gems into containers like this and I make them by the shades so yeah they, they are awesome a nice screw in lid and I for example one of my like a green shades another one pinks then blues and like I love to keep them by the shades organized so i really like and look at that nice and pretty clear acrylic uh i used to lots of uh, bought them when they were available in my local store in dollarama but uh, if you don't have those stores in your country this is really cute for little pieces uh, at the same time it doesn't have to be crafty if you have a jewelry, you can collect your jewelry in here, some earrings, some uh, rings, uh, charms, you know, piercings, something like a little studs for your ears. So this is really, really handy containers. I love them and I wanted to see if this is same good quality as the one I have. And I have to say, yes, it is really, really good, good, good feel good sturdy plastic or acrylic and you have in here uh, three six there you go 12 uh, containers at once so another great price i mean another great project or product i should say all right and then we have one diamond painting today just just one canvas 
and it's a canvas that I always love and it's never too many it's the sunflowers sunflowers it's like representing sun and when they are on a field they always follow the sun direction it's like those um, solar solar like place that always follow sun to collect energy it's the same thing sunflowers it's like they are speaking to the sun and their heads are always turned to the sun so if you did not know that you can check it out that's why when you see field you always see the sunflowers point their heads to one direction so that's kind of interesting thing for me anyway how it's worked with this plant that's why it's called probably sunflower because it's fall of the sun they are very little cute and i actually love the size of it it's size 30 by 30 centimeters would be the whole canvas um, but obviously it will be a little bit shorter of the printed area and i thought uh, i have some boxes that i can place this diamond painting on the top of the box seal my jam so they don't come out to create like a 3d um, keeper box uh, even for some threads for cross stitching or some tools for diamond painting um, it, it will create beautiful box even to give it as a gift to somebody uh, if you are very handy with the cardboard uh, boxes you can create your own box by recycling reusing old boxes that you maybe brought something from the store i also if i have a very very good sturdy box from the shoes for example i keep a couple of those boxes because the shoe boxes it's already box awesome storage um, solution you just have to decorate to make this look fancy and not like you know it belong to shoes it's belong to your crafty room or whatever you want to keep in it so i like that and this one has 23 colors a really pretty flower with some butterflies and looks like um oh like a cl clover leaf or something what is this um yeah flowers oh there is a bumblebee or just a bee up there pretty forget me or not flowers and something red in here that I cannot see right now or that's another or flowers or something I can't see you right now but if you look on a website uh, picture thumbnail you, you will see better quality <coughs> excuse me better quality what you will look for so there you go that's a very pretty canvas and my friends uh, here's the toolkit all diamonds already pre-packed into the ziplock bags so i really appreciate that always always love when company do um, organizing diamonds like this because first of all it's less waste of plastic try to kitten up and it's already ready to go open and start your project so there diamond paint and gorgeous sunflower and now we are going to do so if you don't like uh, cross stitch projects maybe you're doing just diamond painting so thank you so much for watching and now we are going to do uh, cross stitch review now i did uh, some of these boxes you already probably recognized that i have already on my channel reviewed uh, but I'm a little bit short for this. I love this because they are big. And if you have a huge, um, maybe you stitch in like design that have more than 100 colors, which I have like this. No, I think my biggest one I have um, 90 or something. So I want to keep them all just like just checking if it's not broken no this one but that's what the good about they this big one they do send them shipping them in the boxes that the short one that they have in the store they come to me before without box 
and some of them those teeth got broken you see those spikes in here so you can hang your threads over it uh, this piece is so in here we have a felt that you can stick your needle into it. Uh, you can put your DMC codes in here or symbols. You can write down symbols right away. It's good for those who are using uh, counted cross stitch. You place this inside all the way up there. See? And like you have separation, so one symbol go on this side, the other symbol go on another side, and you hang your threads in here. And when you need to park your needle, you park in the same next to that thread. So this is really, really comfortable and a handy tool to have. And I think now I have all the threads will fit now and I will reorganize my counted uh, cross stitch to this palette because I really like this long one and short one I can use uh, for something else for the smaller cross stitches so this is great great tool because it's big one it's big one so check it out links of course and order Especially if you cross stitch a lot, counted cross stitch, this really will help you a lot. I love them. Uh, now we will start with smaller something like this first, and that is um, what interesting about um, you see this design is awesome, awesome strawberry um, to hang on a wall somewhere. Um, how you call them mm, like a banners but on a website it I believe it says Christmas Christmas banners they do have up there lots of his Christmas design but I mean this is not a Christmas so I'm surprised they even call this as a Christmas because this is definitely summer vibes because they have a beautiful look at that uh, oh, you know what? Is the other one was printed too that I have before or was counted? No, maybe printed. Okay, maybe printed. Look at this awesome strawberry. Very nicely printed. Very bright colors. Good to see, even all those orange and reds. Uh, this is super cute little project. And look at this awesome threads. Uh, tools in here we have in here let's open okay so two needles now needles is chubby but very sharp and look at this points very sharp uh, we have in here tassel nicely done actually very nice nice and clean and we have threader okay finally I have one more threader like this because I have only one green one that I use all the time I'm afraid to break and now I can pull out this threader and keep it in my toolbox because this threader is good for tiny needles this one um, needle could be okay even different my bigger threader the one like a um, uh, metal whatever that is like the flat one uh, I like this one so I will keep this in my toolbox as I'm stitching right now so for now I'm just going to put in here so we don't lose it and then we have, here is your Hainan device to have this um, there, like, like this, like this. You put your design, see this is for the top. Nicely done, I have to say. Smooth edges. Very nice. 
very nice okay so that's your hand device and then we have some gorgeous okay so here's our pattern up there how many colors we have in here uh, full stage 12 13 15 colors in here so 15 colors and I think it's we, we don't even have to unwind it you can see every color in here very happy colors oh those reds combination so good and look how many greens like um, it will give you good um, shading on the leaves and in the berry itself look at this leaves looks really good in here so that's a cute summer cute summer project and this is uh what is this fortune count ada yeah very stiff very stiff but you can stitch this in your hands you don't even need any frame unless you want to put a little tiny frame now you can buy any size of the frames basically okay so this is called here little tiny project <coughs> excuse me um, now the bigger one I leave it for later uh, here is the design that I thought it would be in Joy Sunday uh, because I see I saw one time this kind of design in Joy Sundays but when I ordered it was out of the stock and I had to pick something else so when this time I saw it's available I was really happy to have it um, but I don't know what kind of brand is this is the, the one there's no brand is it good or what okay there is that is this a sticker yes see this is sticker for your reference you can put you can even frame it this <laughs> piece itself and you have a cute little picture on your table uh, and then I see in here two needles so what kind of this no this is I don't know doesn't look like this is like no brand because uh, usually this kind of palettes is Joy Sunday did they change the packaging or something or what is going on I'm a little bit confused right now um, okay let's see threads first I have in here two palettes with one thread 25 and 25 why why are they on a different palettes <laughs> two of the same okay questionable now from 1 to 24 from 1 to 24 did they put double threads is that supposed to be or by mistake they put me double threads or maybe it's like not enough threads on one and they decided that two of them will be fit enough to finish okay I'm a little bit confused about this my friends but if this is accidentally extra that's make me happy the colors in here amazing I have to say and usually threads on this kind of palace they always good quality hmm I wonder why it's like a double to so if it's 25 it's mean we have a 25 Uh -huh. okay so yes you see this one like that I said before no brand so they took uh, Joy Sunday canvas and recreated their own print hopefully it's good but well that's a lot of um, yeah this thing thank goodness we're not doing a counted cross stitch because this would be disaster this can go right in a garbage 
Excuse me. <coughs> okay. So we will figure out later if this is something supposed to be double threads to complete this or this is extra threads accidentally put it. Uh, what I see in here, uh, the cut of fabric a little bit not straight, but that's okay. It's a lots of, see how it's like go shorter, shorter, shorter. Um, but lots of room, lots of room. In on this side, it's huge amount of extra. Yeah, on the top, lots. On the bottom, lots. So a lot of excess of fabric on each side. The good thing is about they already stitched in here, so it's not fray. Here is the uh, two needles with it and 25 colors so we have a two blocks of colors which if I correct if I correct just if it's happened to you uh, palette like this so number this would be your symbol on a canvas and this would be color of actual DMC threads. So let's check if this is true. If I look for example number one it's a dark blue dark blue and it's a 317 DMC code and yes it is this is a gray color which is correct so yes first it's a color on your canvas and second it's a color of actual thread that you will place in here all right very super bright colors in here very it's like whoa like shock you colors is really really bright but uh, I hope the quality of this will be okay hopefully okay because um, I don't know uh, about this kind of brand I did not finish my I have to complete my canvas that I have already uh, my roses that I started was no brand I think that's what I was thinking. sorry my friends have to stop I forgot to mute my phone and it was running All right so Yes, I will be working on some of this canvas. Even if I, I have lots of canvases, <laughs> this kind, like lots of whips that I have already, gargantuous amount, but I think I have to check it out, this uh, quality on some of these canvases. Uh, yes, uh, I really thought that this design will be Enjoy Sunday, but it's not. So it's up to you. I can't really recommend because I don't know how quality an end will be when you stitch. So like I see right now, it looks not bad actually. It looks like its picture will be look good, but <clears throat> like I cannot tell you 100% yes, I do recommend because obviously I don't know. Looks good so far canvas good chunk amount of canvas beautiful colors of threads beautiful picture hopefully it will be like this maybe I even try to stitch a bird just to see the quality of the bird if bird look good then the whole canvas will be look good right so please comment what you think about this and one more canvas that I was actually excited that came in this kind of it also looks like no brand at the same time kind of look like a brand <clears throat> losing my voice now but this is very colorful how this going to be probably like this look at that prettiness all those beautiful flowers the only thing I don't know how we can ask them <laughs> to actually to send to us this product on black Ada because on a black it will look so good instead of stitch all the white canvas with the black threads it would look so much better on a black Ada 
Now, what do we have in here? Let's see. Okay, this is some kind of instruction, like Joy Sunday would have instruction. So that's basically a copy of that. In here, um, all written in like Chinese or Asian, whatever that is language. But I assume this is all full stitch only. Oh, no, it's not. Huh. Because in here colors from 1 to 13, from 14 to 26. Oh, no, no, no. It's all right. 27 and 37. Okay, never mind. I mistake something. So 37 colors in full stitch. That's it. Only full stitch. And we have design just like this on a piece of paper like that. Um, <coughs> so let's open up and see what we have. So this is also sticker. It's good to have uh, in your book somewhere for the reference what, what kind of canvases you have. So maybe I have to, I have a like a, a beautiful notebook and maybe I should keep the stickers I don't have too many of this, but I love this design. I love this kind. Uh, now we have a toolkit in here. Oh, that's the one I was telling you, Meryl, that that's the one that I usually use for 11 count. Um, okay, should be open. Toolkit. Toolkit. And uh, this one, remember my uh, needle holders that I put this little pieces inside of the lipstick needle holders this is the cute one to have um, and we have in here the ring for your finger to protect your finger which doesn't work for me uh, three needles in here three, three needles this big big eye needles and what's the edges it's just kind of like a middle sharpness, not not very sharp, but still sharp. And that's the tool. Uh, this one excellent for 11 count um, needle, and this one thinner, good for 14. So, oh, well done, my friends. One more needle. Wow, that is so generous. Four needles we have. Four needles. So we're going to place them right into this bowl which that's what it's supposed to be so they don't get lost just like that to keep them all together so it's a nice beginner little toolkit in here And the canvas itself. Oh my goodness, there's uh, two more needles in here. <laughs> so we have a six, two, what? Yeah, four, five, six needles. This one have like a, a white holes. This one have a gold holes in here, open in the eye. And the design is huge. Because this is 11 count, very big, but that's what I'm saying. I wish it would be black canvas instead of stitch. Oh, this is black. So it should have lots of lots of black threads in here. And it is. Come on. Come on. Let's untangle it. Let's untangle it. Here you go. We have huge chunks of black threads oh this black threads looks kind of like silky that's a that's a good stuff black 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 sometimes black can look like a gray this looks to me like black black that's good and here is the colors i'm just trying to quickly finish this video because my battery already flashing and there and this is the one more in here 
that's it. Threads is beautiful. The design is supposed to be very pretty. I just wish we don't have to stitch all this black. Oh my goodness. It would be good to have a black piece of canvas. Where can I find black canvas? In my local store in here, we don't have a black. So definitely need to be look somewhere online. And this design go this this way actually. Like that. This beautiful flower. And this is it review for today, my friends. I hope uh, you are still in here, <laughs> didn't run out, and somebody staying with me, with me to the end. Thank you so much, GBFKE, for this wonderful uh, package. Love it, love it, love it. Something we have to test it out to see if we love it. Canvas looks really nice, very easy to stitch, actually. Very easy to stitch, and this is can be nice, good pillow, big size pillow. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Even this black to uh, do quick, you can do as um, a half stitch to make it faster maybe, I don't know. Okay, I really love the design, very nice design. All right, thank you so much everyone and I will see you tomorrow.